Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, I'm Hussain and I want to share with you guys my AutoCAD experience. So I'm going to create a series of AutoCAD lessons. Please uh, subscribe if you want to learn and to become a professional. I will guide you guys from beginning to end and any anything you want specific you just comment and contact me. I will I'll do it for it's totally free. I mean, you can contact me, just comment, or you can send an email if you want, uh, and then uh, I will do whatever you ask uh, accordingly. Uh, for example, we can practice something or we can create something. So let's start. So this is how the first screen you're gonna see. If you did not change anything, so this is an uh, the first screen of AutoCAD, and uh, you can see the, there is this three thing. So those are views, thumbnail view, detailed view, and you know smaller icon, bigger icon. So normally the middle one is always selected. This is how standard open. I mean when you open, it's gonna be uh, front of you. And if you click on the start drawing, it's gonna open the drawing. If you click on file and click on the new, it's gonna open the same thing. And if you press Control N from your keyboard, it's going to open. A new page so let's click on the start drawing so this is how your first screen you're gonna see uh, if you are completely totally beginner uh, if you are uh, like you have some uh, prior experience so go to the like lesson second or third or fourth or specific something if you need uh, I hope you can find it but not right now it's gonna take a little time to complete those uh, projects and I'm gonna upload it as soon as possible so let's uh, set up our uh, workshop or garage we can say so this is like in an environment you're gonna work you need your tools gonna be in a specific place all the time you can go to the same place and pick up your tools so we need to set up our toolbars I created a, a list how we're gonna learn like step by step the list is I uploaded on a, one of my website and uh, I'm going to just uh, um, give you my website address uh, you can go there and uh, actually let's let me show you uh, so click on this like I mean open a browser I'm gonna open a browser here my website name is isvia.com which is I S F I A dot com I will share the link below uh, with this uh, like video so is com is opening and why I'm taking you there so it's safe you can see this is a completely uh, like you know business website uh, it's mine so what you're gonna do uh, you just uh, you see I actually uploaded today this one for you guys so you can just this is free you can download this one but uh, I think when I'm going to upload most something new, it's going to be somewhere like um, below maybe. So you could just type here on the search bar, card, just press card and enter. And you're going to find this card tutorial outdoor this and that. So those are actually, uh, you need to <laughs> pay, for, pay for it and uh, you definitely do not need it uh, I, I, I hope so so you just click on this one it's gonna gonna open and uh, you're gonna go to purchase and then it's free see you do not need to put anything just type anything like ABCD if you want to put your name please go ahead you can put ABCD and here is your email if you just just put an email uh, <laughs> let's try with uh, okay us to seal at gmail.com it's one of my very old email and uh, that's it do not need to create an account and place the order so this is the car tutorial link if you click on this see download click here it's going to just download this one and what is it let me show you click here or show in the folder so you can just double click this one it's going to open in the browser 
So you're gonna see this AutoCAD 2021 learning steps. This one going to be there. So if you don't like to go to my website and like if you think this is not uh, safe, you just can take the screenshot of this one and you can keep it next to you or you can print it out uh, from the screenshot. So this, these are the serially, we're gonna do this step by step by serially. Those are the serials. I'm just showing you. So if you want to go to there, uh, check my website if you want, and uh, you want to download it, uh, that's your choice. If you don't want, just uh, like take a snap, uh, like uh, <laughs> like a screenshot, and that's it. So that's my website, and uh, I'm a professional designer, so I do a many variety kind of design. So just here is a glance of showing you. I'm just closing it. Okay. So now you have the tutorial, maybe from my website, maybe from uh, this uh, like screenshot. Okay, the first thing we're gonna uh, set up, like you see see this background, it's a grid. Uh, the grid system is good, but sometimes if you have a gray line, gray color line, hard to be know it is there. So it's better if there is no grid line. Well, so how to get rid of a grid line? I'm gonna press F7, F7 from your keyboard, the grid line is gone. If you need the grid line back, press F7 back, it's gonna come back. So I'm gonna press again, F7. If I I will ask you to take some notes, so you can just uh, like grid line, equal to uh, F7. So you're gonna remember it. And believe me, at the beginning, I, I never take a note when I, I was learning, my instructor was telling me to take note. I was like kind of uh, not interested much, but in future when I forget, when I stop like doing something and I forget it and then it's become a pain. So I need to, <laughs> I need to ask him or I need to Google it and it's, it's, it's kind of uh, hard. So it's better if you take a note, if you have a notebook, you always uh, like in a positive mode, you, you're going to feel it in later. Okay. So one thing is gone. The second thing is this, this UCS icon. This one, you are working somewhere here, here, there. The UCS icon is running with you. Sometimes it's, it's like, you know, not much fun to have it. So now we're gonna use a command to get rid of it. And if, if we need it, we can get it back by the same command. So the command is U-C-S-I-C-O-N, enter. I can I can click here, off, and also I can type o -double -F, enter. So it's gone. If I need it back, u c s i c o n well, I'm, I'm just telling you one by one because so you can focus and you can like uh, easily like get it i don't want to make it like very fast so u c s i c o n enter o n oh no you see icon enter o n enter so this come back so i'm gonna press ctrl z from keyboard so it's gonna go back like ctrl z for always go back this is the best thing about AutoCAD you can press ctrl z anything you made a mistake or anything something you lost you're gonna suddenly come back so this that was our let me I also have the list with me so, so we can do it the same way so we are in the same page <laughs> so this two thing gone now third thing is the, the closer this thing uh, our mouse pointer we call it in, in AutoCAD the cursor so cursor size is supposed to be full screen it's, it's look maybe pretty for uh, for now but if you have it in full I mean full screen is different it's look very professional so for to do that we're gonna click right click on the keyboard I mean uh, right click on the mouse go to the option bring it in the center and those tabs are most of the time display tab are selected so doesn't matter if you select file now every time you come you're gonna see the file so you just go to file display if you want to go take a look at everything here you can so in the display tab there are crosshair size you see this one this one so you can drag this one to 100 percent or it was in five you can make it 100 and enter so this is become 100 we're gonna go back again and you see see that this pointer the, the small like box inside the 
cross is this one supposed to be a little bigger it's, it's too too small so again we're gonna click right click on the mouse see there is repeat option if we press only enter from our keyboard it's gonna repeat see this one but um, I'm not going to go this way right now because you are uh, new. Right click on the mouse. Here is option. Pick box size. This one. See, this one become a little bigger. So right now, uh, I'm just going to repeat. So click on the option and we was in the display make it the crosser 100 and then we're gonna go to drafting uh, not drafting selection and pick box size you can make it way bigger than that but this is good this is standard uh, I mean this is we can do it easily just click apply and okay so your crosser size is uh, set and uh, crosser pick box also set now what are you gonna do menu bar so we need to show our menus like here so we go to show the menu bar we're gonna click you see this little drop down menu I'm gonna click here and here is hide menu actually I I did it before I start this uh, tutorial uh, once I just want to check out so the menu bar normally it's show like this there are no menu bar nothing but if you click on this one and click show menu bar it's gonna show up the file edit uh, view insert format tool draw everything now the menu bar is important because if you cannot find this one like if you cannot see this one then you are in trouble it is hard very hard to get it back but if you are just no, no recognize this place click here and hide or show menu but if you press hide it's gonna go back normally uh, it's come like this but you just click here and show menu bar now we're gonna bring some tools so normally all the tools is here if you go to how home insert annotation it's it's like uh, parametric view manage those sometimes you need to click and and it's very hard for professional people who and you click and drag and draw you have to use command for like when you use command is is feel different and you can do work very fast uh, okay so let's go to so we are now the menu is showing now we are going to click on the tools and here is toolbars so I'm gonna show you again click on the tools go to the toolbars go go to the I mean just to move move your cursor so AutoCAD tools so let's start from beginning uh, we need uh, like uh, dimension tool click on the dimension so here is the dimension tool game keep it here we're gonna um, like uh, put it aside later and now we do not need to click on like tools you know toolbar and AutoCAD we, we do not we can right click on this one and it's gonna give us the list so let's uh, the draw toolbar most of the time we do not need mm, let's see find text no need uh, group inquiry insert layer layer is there okay so we're gonna go more below we're gonna take uh, modeling modeling for 3d but uh, we're gonna learn only 2d now we do not need modeling i take out <coughs> i take out the modeling now for 3d in future like I, I'll make 3d is very easy 2d is everything and uh, most of the job you're gonna get in in 2d not in 3d okay rendering also need for 3d and standard tool we do not need we're gonna use it from the main toolbar the <coughs> the pen and uh, we're gonna take uh, view toolbar because most of the time we need view toolbar and what else I think uh, this is good for now card standard not necessary but yeah so now we have this one 
you need to go to you, you see this very small dotted uh, like dots now click here and drag it on the site it's gonna be here this is your dimension toolbar and again you click here on the dot bring it here and put it next to it which is view but let's bring it on the below so we're gonna have more space in our screen so now you have this two toolbar actually right now my monitor is too big that's why I like it the toolbar is is in a, in a site and uh, our left side is there are no not necessary to put any tools but if we if we need to bring any tool back like right now I think we do not need anything else but if we need we can come back anytime and uh, bring any tool we need so let's get out from here uh, let's take the zoom toolbar only so click on the zoom and uh, put it on the left so we have like two borders <laughs> it's gonna look good all right so that's it for now we do not need to add any more tools and now we need to lock the toolbar because if we do not lock it's gonna go like anytime if you drag it it's gonna come here okay so now right click on the screen and not right click actually we're gonna click on on right click on this toolbar go to the below completely down you might if your monitor is small you're gonna wanna have scroll here scroll by, by your middle mouse button the ruler and you're gonna fumble, like scroll down to get the lock lock location and click touch the lock lock I mean click on the uh, not click just put your mouse on the top and go right side all and then lock it I, I will hold hold it here so you can see uh, let me go a little right okay so you right click on any toolbar go to the lock location then you go to the all and then locked so now your toolbar is you see there was small dot 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 there are no more dot dot it's gone now toolbar is set up and uh, we just lock the toolbar our AutoCAD is ready to work now I'm just gonna leave leave it like this and uh, we're gonna do uh, like uh, we're gonna move on the our, our second number uh, like, like video two, video one number two setup you need textile dimension style and views all right so the first thing is setup you need now if you are living in a country where using centimeters where is the, when you drive there was there is no mile there are kilometer then you need to work on centimeter I live in the United States we use mile when we drive or we like major things and uh, we use inch so now I'm gonna go to click on format you see this if you if you do not see the, these you need to click here and bring menu bar from here so this is hide menu bar and if you hide it you're not gonna show it and I click here go to the show menu bar I hope you remember and now you're gonna click on the format we are setting up you need you need mean how when we draw a line how many inches or how many feet it's gonna be long so click here on the units now drawing you need come up I just click and drag it here if you want to know like what I did <laughs> all right so the length is type decimal we're gonna do it we're gonna um, like the autocad we will run today uh it's going to be architectural or engineering but i mean you can choose many other I'm, i can click here to show you architectural decimal engineering my job is in engineering so i'm gonna click in engineering I'm professional with engineering but you can you can change it in in like according your need so precision is like zero feet zero inch then like if you break a inch how you can make it very long so we're gonna take it like zero feet zero inch so if it is like 10 feet 5 inch it's gonna be 10 feet 5 inch and here is decimal degree we're gonna not gonna change it because it's going to be 
like those are angles uh, we can make it like you know radius grads but for now decimal degree is good precision zero feet zero inch and click OK so this is like set it up second thing we're gonna uh, set up the text style yeah. so we're gonna click on the format go to the text style here is this text style which is automatically selected standard in 2021 I believe 2022 the same way I mean two more year 2020 the current year all software also uh, Arial is selected but before 2020 it was not selected uh, uh, I think it was not selected because until 2013 I used to work in a company and they have 2013 software and there was not there was like very ugly text anyway so we have standard like our current style is standard and font is Arial if your is not then make it Arial but if 2021 it is there guarantee now text height when you type something this text gonna show you even if you do not put anything here the text gonna show you there but it's, it's not gonna be accurate to get accurate you need to put a dimension here so just put uh, let's put two inch for now so we want just two is enough you do not need to put inch if I press tab from my keyboard like to go from here to there so you see or, or just do not need to if, if tab is confusing here is two and click outside like anywhere else here you see two inch automatically selected because your unit is inch you remember that's why when you put 10 mean 10 inch when you put 5 mean 5 inch so now our text going to be 2 inch height in height so I, I'm gonna click on apply and close so two things is done setup unit is done text style is done now what dimension style dimension style you can do from here also but I'm uh, gonna go to do it from here format text style below is dimension style click on the dimension style it's gonna come here the standard is selected but you see those 11.2878 22.4527 20 but there is no inch nothing this is a degree it, it, it's always small I know <laughs> all right so what are we gonna do we're gonna click on modify and then we will uh, dimension still just changing here we are not uh, adding on fast video so let's click on the modify and uh, now we're gonna go to the primary unit unit format is decimal we're gonna make it engineering precision 0 feet 0 inch and uh, what else okay and everything look good click on the line those are standard for now color all right so if you click on symbol and arrow we can see a few things here we're gonna we will modify these later for now you see 11 inch one one feet one inch is showing like easily okay so textile is standard selected and uh, see text height is two inch remember we did and uh, any other thing we're not going to change here is text alignment is horizontal let's we're going to click it align with dimension line so now it's going to be like you see this one you see this one this one if you click on horizontal it's going to be like this is sometimes this this one going to touch the the main uh, subject or object you, you, you draw so click on align and this is how it's gone mm and uh, everything for now we good I'm gonna click on OK and click close so our dimension style is good now now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna draw a this is you do not need to practice this one it ju I'm just want to show I just want to show you how the views works so let's say um, I'm just drawing a rectangle and uh, I'm going to drawing a circle okay so now this is right now we are in top view 
for example if you have a cube you know the cube uh, like I'm not gonna go to the cube <laughs> let's let's show you here so this is the button I mean for top view if I click here it's gonna show me thing I'm showing you I'm, I'm seeing from top so if I click here I'm seeing from bottom so bottom view and top view in certain way for 2d drawing this is 2d drawing two dimension drawing it's like no no difference but when you do something more than like uh, two things is could could be affected so better you stay always on the top view when you're working work on the top view this is left view if i click on the left view it's going to show me the this line and this circle like this if i click on the right view the same way they're going to show you see this one bigger this one smaller and if i click on the left view this one's bigger this one's smaller this one's smaller and now i'm gonna click on this one this is the front view it's gonna show just one line and then i'm gonna click on the back view it's gonna show the same thing those are views if you when you're gonna draw something you always stay on the top view so you're gonna see like this there are four more views sw isometric and w isometric so let's check uh, like check sw isometric click here you see this one go to this one is uh, s e means southeast uh, sw means southwest and s e means south east and this one n east and northeast and this one northwest northwest so this is how you can check the views but it's just for just for future use not right now right now we're gonna just go through um, the top view and that's it uh, this is how you need to deal with it in future uh, when when you need to go a different view to see something from the side from the front from the back the, these are the tools you need and you know how to bring so I'm gonna click these two just select like this or control a for now I can press control a and delete if you don't want to delete just press escape escape from the ESC button from the keyboard left top corner ESC select it escape select and deselect okay so that's all for uh, like uh, number two setup you need textile dimension style and views is done now save this card file so I'm gonna keep this two drawing one circle and one <laughs> one rectangle and I'm gonna save it so what, 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 what why we're we gonna save it this is our like a template in future so we do not need to set up anything else we do not need to set up again format or like textile or or anything just it's ready it's done it's good so we're gonna press ctrl s from keyboard but if i press ctrl s you're not gonna see it and uh, now let's click on file and save or ctrl s you see you know ctrl s from long time or there are the save button so to become professional we're gonna press ctrl s so it's better now this is asking to save in my document i'm gonna take it to my d drive there are co2k 2021 tutorial i'm gonna click on this one so let's say uh class one and save it another thing this one saving in 2018 uh, like this software can open in 2018 but if you or if you have a software for example you draw something you give it to someone and who do not have 2018 or above software they are not able to open it they need another software which is true view true view is a uh, autodesk software you can find it for free and you can just download and you need to convert it there are few, <laughs> like works but for example if you want to send in future in future when you become professional you want to send uh, something to your friend boss someone else just click here save it on any this is the first person of what you get so to get actually uh, r14 is 
mm, R14 they did not put here. Actually, this is not the first one. Anyway, so this is the, the minimum one you need to well, save on AutoCAD R12. There's, that's the oldest one. And the, here is R14. See. It was in 1997 and 1998. I learned AutoCAD in 2000, year 2000. So it's like 20 years I'm working with AutoCAD. And actually only one, one program I know better than anything and I'm based on it. That's not I'm saying people say that. Anyway, I'm going to click here in class one and save it. That's all guys. This is the first lesson is done. I'm going to upload it as soon as possible and we're going to jump on the video two, which is we're going to open the same file, draw a line and few things other. So until now, I hope you learn few things and uh, if uh, if I miss something please let me know I get distracted when I when I'm working and talking at the same time so sometimes I get distracted so if possible please uh, uh, like um, if you think something I missed or something was not appropriate please let me know so I'll be careful in future you have a wonderful day or wonderful night wherever you are enjoy your time thank you and goodbye